Genesis chapter 6 verse 5 and God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually now this is the scripture people read and say angels married men it's not true the reason why they come to that conclusion is because they are reading their thoughts into the bible and that is what we always teach you never 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 to speak to the bible let the bible speak to you don't read your thoughts and your wishes into the bible allow come to the word of god with a neutral mind and let the word of god talk to you because there was never a time where angels married human beings it can never happen it has never happened before look at how he started the discourse in genesis chapter 6 verse 1 and it came to pass when men did you see that when men began to multiply when men began to multiply not angels when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto men daughters were born unto men so men not angels when men began to multiply give me verse 2 that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they took them wives of all which they chose three and the Lord said my spirit shall not always strive with man for that he also is flesh yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years verse 4 there were giants in the earth in those days and also after that when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men and they bore children to them the same became mighty men which were of old men of renown okay next verse and God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually now you know when they were called sons of God and the daughters of men sons of God there was not touching angels he was not making reference to angels then when he says giants giants is the Hebrew word for mighty men mighty men people like Goliath giants so it was just a reference sons of God was a reference here for man because what they gave birth to were men so men got married to women and gave birth to men Jesus cleared things for us in Matthew 22 verse 23 Jesus gave us clarity concerning angels and men the same day came to him the Sadducees which say that there is no resurrection and asked him next verse saying master Moses said if a man die having no children his brother shall marry his wife and raise up seed unto his brother now there were with us seven brethren and the first when he had married a wife deceased and having no issue left his wife unto his brother likewise the second also and the third unto the seventh and last of all the woman died also therefore in the resurrection whose wife shall she be of the seven for they all had her jesus amenaga i love jesus jesus answered and said unto them you do err not knowing the scriptures nor the power of god for in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage but are as the angels of god in heaven what jesus was establishing there is that there is nothing like marriage in heaven what jesus was saying is angels do not marry what jesus is saying is that there are no spiritual husbands or spiritual wives because there is no marriage among spirits marriage is earthly so you know sometimes a lady dreams and sees herself getting married in the dream and some pastors who like deliverance will tell her she has a spiritual husband jesus said there is no such thing there is nothing like spiritual husband or spiritual wife you don't marry spirits marriage is an institution among human beings so angels couldn't have married daughters of men in genesis chapter 6 jesus cleared it now look at that verse 5 to 7 please pay attention and God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually next 
and it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart seven and the Lord said I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth but man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air for it repented me that I have made them take note 